another 5600 XT. This one by Gigabyte. Let's take a look at it today. Okay, here's what we got. Uh, this is Gigabyte's a version of this one, the 5600 XT. Um, this one is their 06 Gaming Edition. Because, again, everything is titled gaming. It's annoying. <laughs> However, what makes this one interesting is you can get this one under $300. When compared to the Strix version, which was um, $340, uh, this should be really interesting to take a look at. So let's uh, take a look at what you've got here for features on this card, and then let's dive into some benchmarks and then talk about how it stacks up compared to its uh, higher priced options uh, that are out there, as well as the 2060. Okay, let's take a look at this real quick. First off, you'll notice that it does have the triple fan design. Uh, real nice. Fans are okay. Uh, they're fairly quiet when you go and you set a manual profile, but they are louder than the Asus uh, version is when it's going full bore. But uh, when it's sitting like this, fairly quiet, not too bad. Um, it is a single eight pin for the power uh, and it does have one BIOS. Nothing wrong with that. Again, uh, it's a $300 card, not a $340 card. Uh, this does come with three DisplayPort inputs and a single HDMI input. Um, I do have the newest BIOS installed on this. As you can see, we got the 1750 megahertz for the base clock. And we're gonna play around with that, or I apologize, 780 megahertz for the base clock. Uh, this card does have integrated RGB, uh, which if that matters to you, there you go. Outside of that, it's kind of a no frills card, but what's important again is the price point. It's a sub 300, so around that 289 to $299 range, depending upon how and when you get it, or I should say where and when you get it. Uh, so this makes this more of a direct competitor with the 2060 at that price point, versus where a card such as the Asus Strix that we previously reviewed was at uh, $340. This makes this uh, card much more compelling. So let's go ahead and let's dive into the benchmarks. Let them speak for themselves. Come back and wrap up this video. Okay, pretty straightforward. Here's my thoughts. This is a compelling card because of the price point. Now it's in that price range where you would say, okay, this competes more directly with that 2060 Founders Edition or the 2060 KL. Personally, I would go for the 2060 Founders Edition, but that's my opinion, nothing more, just because of, I don't know, uh, I guess. And I feel like you can overclock that a little bit more massively than you can this one, as you can see in the benchmarks that we just ran. However, this is a nice card. Um, fans are decently quiet. They're not as quiet as say the Asus uh, Strix version was, but they're not overbearing either. Especially when you set a manual fan profile, it's much easier to live with um, the, uh, the acoustic levels, I, I guess I should say. The card runs very well. Games are smooth, obviously. It's not meant for maximum out at 4K. This is a 1080 gaming card. That's what this is for. You can get into some 1440p, but really this is driven for that 1080 customer, which is 80 plus percentage of the market anyway. So with that said, I can very easily suggest that someone goes out and buys this card. It's quiet-ish, performs well, especially after that BIOS update that brings your base clock from 1500 megahertz up to 1780 megahertz. You can overclock it decently, it uh, doesn't draw a ton of power as it only requires the one eight pin um, 
power connector to run it. Yes, there, you know, with the $340 version from say Asus, you will get more uh, power input, but you know, there's a trade-off there. How much are you drawing? And is it really performing for that? So your cost of performance. I would say that this is a great card for the, the price point that it's in and a, a very good competitor finally for the uh, NVIDIA 2060 Founders Edition. Anyway, those are my thoughts. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up for me. If you didn't like it, you know what else to do. Hopefully it's not that. Uh, hit that subscribe button for me as it really does help the channel grow and we will see you in the next video.